Mercedes-Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New Orleans Saints. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. First and ten, here's Breeze. Oh, wide open, complete. And now they are knocking on the door inside Pittsburgh's ten. A big play there on the first play of the game. 67 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They'll run here with Ingram. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. They'll look to run with Ingram. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Mark Ingram taking it in from a yard out. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves sticking in the end zone on a running play. Lux with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it's Mark Ingram who caps it off with a touchdown run. Lutz now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. First carry for James Conner. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it third and one. The Steelers, of course, had all the questions lingering with Le'Veon Bell. Tip of the cap to James Conner. He really has filled in nicely. He prepared himself as if he were going to be the starter right from week one. And I got to see him in preseason, and you saw a little bit of everything. His ability to run inside, also run to the perimeter, catch the ball out of the backfield. And how about his season opener against Cleveland? They didn't win the game, but he played awfully well. 135 yards rushing, and he helped close out a big win at Tampa Bay in week three on Monday Night Football with some nice runs down the stretch. Now a play fake here on first down. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. 
That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. A sizable gain there of nine yards, but it's still third and long. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And before they can run another play, the clock hits triple zeros. And time is up on the first quarter. 7-0 is our score. We'll head back to New Orleans after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan in there to get him for a loss of three, and it'll be fourth down. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. The football going back over to the New Orleans Saints uh, and a team this year, Charles, that really took off after that week one loss for me it all came together week nine you think back to that game when they beat the Rams knocked off their undefeated streak to start the regular season so now are the Saints really Super Bowl winning contenders I mean do you put them in that category I certainly do and I think people are wondering how they would respond this season after what happened to end last season the Minneapolis miracle where they ended up giving up the touchdown pass in the last play of the game in the playoffs and when it started losing at home to Tampa Bay, many wondered if their psyche had really been affected, but they've regrouped since then. The defense is really playing well. And then there's Oley. And that's caught inside the 30. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that play possible. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. This is Ingram on first and 10. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Now Breeze, he's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And they went for a big play through the air on second down, couldn't connect. Now it's third. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Breeze now to throw. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And that loss of yards there is not just on him. It's on the guys blocking for him. I mean, they're supposed to create some type of space or at least get a stalemate. They end up letting them through and ended up tackling him for a loss. His pass caught at the four. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Mark Ingram. He scored on the ground and through the air. 
And the Saints add on to their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Lutz good on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Lutz now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. And it's third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This is brought in at the 21. Sidesteps him at the 35. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They go play action here on first down. He hits his target, left side, Watson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone, and he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Set, 
Play action. Now Roethlisberger. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Tyler Davison in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle. And frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fade. He takes a touchdown saving tackle to bring him down as he goes 32 yards on the return. And the Saints will have a short field in front of him. They take over here, first and 10. They'll try to get the ground game going with Ingram. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. To say they've kept him under wraps running the football, that, that's an understatement. He's been completely neutralized. Yeah, they've essentially taken him out of the game, haven't they? And you know all the teams say, we're not going to let him beat us. But that's exactly what's happened here. They've looked up to that. He's going to rifle one deep left side. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked off by Cody Sensible. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 27. They start with a give to Connor. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Right? This is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe you change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Connor, absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be third and 10 now. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. Now it's Roethlisberger. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Eli Apple. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Lutz to try to add the PAT. Lutz with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Back to the air, Roethlisberger after the pick six. And McDonald here over the middle. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one goes for 36 yards. Now they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Back now here live in New Orleans. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Eli Apple. 
And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They are excited about where they are in this game. The Saints coming out now to take the field. With this lead and the football, things obviously looking good, but maybe... Yeah, you've taught me this before. Maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them. Protect them. Take care of the ball. Move it downfield. Run the ball down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. A gain of three. Second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeout in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind that it will also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Alvin Kamara really settling into the league in his second season. And, of course, he came out of Tennessee, but not a lot of people remember he started at Alabama. He did and got caught in that big mix of running backs at Bama. And they like those bigger, thick... And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, 66 yards. And the Saints now add six to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is it bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Lots will look to add the extra point. Lutz good on the extra point, and it is 28-0. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Lutz now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. Time for a break. This one all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. Roethlisberger hooking up with Brown to get the Steelers a first. I think their fans are saying, hey, where's that Roethlisberger to Brown connection been in this one? First time they get together is in the second half. I don't think any of us would have predicted that going in because we know how valuable that is to their offense, and that could be a big reason why they're not winning right now. Now Roethlisberger on first down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. 
Let's get the call. Holding offense. So they say no to the penalty, penalty the decline. incompletion stands. It'll be second and 10. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. Second and 10, it's Roethlisberger once more. And that's complete to Jesse James. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Roethlisberger to his big target, James, all six, seven of him for a Steeler first down. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Roethlisberger will throw. Throw it for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Man open left side is Brown. And they move this all the way down to the nine. And that one results in 35 yards. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Again, it's Roethlisberger. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. But well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, Th that's Then right. with the Eagles. That's right. Then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. Breeze is looking to throw. He's got a rifle one deep left. And he's got a man complete. And now the rookie's free. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle, I get that. But there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side, is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited. Fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points from me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Here comes Ryan Switzer to return it. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And trotting back out there now, this Saints defense. Really, the only thing left here to figure out is whether or not they can finish off the shutout, because the game, that's out of the question. And unlike baseball, where you never mention the possibility of a no-hitter until it actually occurs, in this case, they can see a shutout is within grasp. That's what they're talking about out there right now. Don't give up any points. Let's finish this thing off. How big is that for a defense to take a shutout into the next week? It's absolutely huge. You just feel better about everything that you do, everything about your teammates, everything about your squad. It's massive. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Second and 10 now from the 27. Second and 10 now, it's Roethlisberger. He'll get this one to Switzer. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The reception good for seven. It's third down. So Charles are able to complete what so often seems to be elusive, a shutout in the NFL. And maybe what's fitting is they ended the game on the field, that defensive unit on the field. What an exclamation mark. 
and probably felt like they could go another 60 minutes without anyone putting points on the board against them. That's the confidence you gain throughout.